Hey guys, what's up? First Sergeant Forbes here. This is going to be a video on electric versus uh, CO2 slash green gas slash polar stars versus um, uh, or HPA versus uh, spring. So AEG versus gas guns versus spring. Now I did this video back maybe a couple years ago or a year ago, I'm not too sure. Um, I got maybe 2,000 views, which is a lot for me, and I'm very happy about that. But I'm getting a lot of bad comments because I was a little kid and my examples for gas guns were Crossman CO2 pistols. Now I got a lot better in airsoft, I have a lot better guns, and I'll be going over them right now. So we're going to start with the electric category. For your electric guns, I have CMOS uh, Cybergun AK-74U, AKS-74U, sorry. Um, electric guns are nice, 85% of airsofters probably have an electric gun or run an electric gun. Uh, I prefer AKs a lot. I will probably be getting another M4 soon, but AKs are nice. You could have them in the um, uh, top dust cover with well, the batteries. I mean, well, yeah, electric guns, they run on batteries. Uh, most of them don't have a MOSFET, but some of them do have a MOSFET, like the higher end guns. Um, so, electric guns, semi automatic, fully automatic, and uh, safe. Well, most airsoft guns do. Um, electric guns cannot use high cap or mid cap magazines. I prefer mid caps. Well, now I prefer mid caps. Um, electric guns are a lot more cheap usually. I mean, this thing, a gas AK-74U is probably a lot more expensive than an electric one. And uh, electric guns are just more customizable. There's more parts on the market for electric guns, version 2 and version 3. And I prefer electric guns for my main primary weapon. Alright. So now we're going to go over gas. I have a Kinabe MP9. That will be serving as my gas gun. No gas in it. Um, gas guns are really nice if you're a mil sim or a realistic type of guy. Or maybe just a collector. Um, gas guns are the most realistic you're going to get. Um, more realistic than electric blowbacks. Uh, more or less realistic than uh, full back altogether because these things have a little kick most of the time. Um, you can get electric blowback guns that have kick, but they're expensive. Uh, they run on green gas, propane, red gas, duster gas. Uh, I think it's called duster gas. <laughs> I don't know. Um, most of them run on green gas, though, and propane. Propane is silicone oil. You will break the gun if you just use propane. Um, gas guns are pretty expensive. Uh, they don't need a battery. It's good, but I mean, gas is expensive. Uh, uh, if you want to buy just green gas, propane is cheap, but gas is expensive. Um, gas guns have a nice recoil system in the gun that makes them, um, you know, blow back like a real gun. They all have, uh, most of them have uh, functioning bolts and bolt catches, and uh, they're just more realistic than electric guns, and uh, they're just more expensive, basically. That's the only con, really, I can think of. They're more expensive to maintain and take care of. I would run gas guns if they're... Oh, yeah. Also, they only really have mid-caps, too. I mean, gas guns are great, but if they ever make a gas gun with a high cap, that would be awesome. Um, I know I'm going to sound like a noob by saying that, but I think that would be pretty cool. So, now we're going to my least favorite category. Um, spring. This is a Well L96, and it sucks terribly. But for the sake of this video, I'll be using it. Alright. So, spring guns are nice because all you need is a bag of BBs. And the gun, of course. Um, there's no, no need to charge the batteries or buy some green gas. Spring just runs on air. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the Polar Stars, sorry. Polar Stars are just kind of like they run on the same thing as paintballs. Uh, paintball guns do HBA. And they hurt like a motherfucker. Uh, spring now. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this gun sucks. I'm just doing for the video. Spring's nice. You don't need to run it on anything. Uh, spring guns can ver vary between spring pistols, spring assault rifles, which are on the lower first gun style. I mean, I do respect spring guns because my first gun was a spring P99 by Crossman back in 2009. But, um... Spring guns, is, if you're going to try to get into competitive airsoft, you're not going to do anything with a spring gun, unless you get like a spring sniper, which I'm actually planning on getting a good one, because this one sucks. Uh, I will upgrade it, of course, because most 
spring snipers are terrible stock. But, so yeah, spring. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. They're cheap. You don't need anything to really do with them. You just need to cock the gun. And uh, they're mostly on the lower end, besides for shotguns and snipers. So, this is, I guess, my video of electric versus spring versus gas. I like electric. Gas are good for sidearms. Spring are good for snipers and shotguns. First starts before it's out, and good luck to yourself, guys. See you later.